Hello Hope Kids, welcome back for another Sunday morning service. I hope you're well, hope you had a good week at school, uh, worked hard uh, and done really well in all that you've been up to. So this week we've got, we've got loads of stuff here this week, we've got lots of contributions that you've sent in looking at last week's challenge. We've got a crazy challenge this week that was sent in uh, by Erin. Uh, we've got songs, we've got prayer, we've got the memory verse again, who knows where uh, that will be this week and lots to get on with. So hope you're enjoying it so far. Hope you've enjoyed the previous weeks. Hope you're remembering the memory verse. Let's see what Pam's got in store for this week's crazy challenge. Over to you, Pam. Hey. Hi, so this week's challenge is a real challenge. What we have to do is make a cheese salad sandwich with our hands tied behind our back. So um, I've got all the ingredients. I have some bread, some lettuce, cucumber, cheese, tomato and some salad cream. So I haven't practiced this at all and I'm really not sure if this is going to work out or not but I'm going to give it my best shot. Okay, so Kay's tied my hands behind my back and I'm ready to start, so here we go. So this week's challenge set by Erin is to make a cheese salad sandwich. Uh, all the ingredients I have I need are in this bag here. Uh, and I think I've got this challenge sorted. So on the count of three, I'm gonna make my cheese salad sandwich. One, two, three, let's go. Cheese salad sandwich, all done. Winner, in your face, Pam. Oh. Hello, Pam. Yeah, did you see my video? Oh, I've definitely won this week. What do you mean that's not within the rules? The rules were make a cheese salad sandwich. I've made one, I just beat you. No, I don't, oh, it doesn't matter if you're unhappy about it. I'm in charge, I set the rules, I'm the winner. What, what do you mean? You can't put, oh, you're gonna phone my mum, are you? Uh, oh, you're gonna tell my mum on me? Oh, we'll see, we'll see that. All right, bye, Pam. Hi, Mum. No, what, what do you mean, Mum? Pam's called you. I didn't cheat, I, it was a cheat. Mum, yes, Mum. So, you, I've got to do it again. Okay, Mum. If, yes, Mum. If you say so. Yes, Mum. Sorry, Mum. Yes, I'll say sorry to Pam when I see her. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, bye-bye. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye. Okay, so apparently my first attempt was un, not within the rules, shall we say. Uh, someone's just told me that I've got to do it again properly. So, here we have, as you can perhaps see, uh, the butter, bread, cheese and some salad. Uh, lettuce is all we've got really uh, to make a cheese salad sandwich as per the rules and my hands are tied behind my back so uh, here we go
So that was a bit of a crazy challenge. I don't know how we were meant to make a proper cheese sandwich, but we gave it a good go. Uh, and it's quite difficult to judge who made the better cheese sandwich. So I've asked Tom, and Tom's told me uh, that on this week, I think he, he feels that Pam did a better job. So one nil to Pam. Uh, well done, Pam. So the scores, as we're looking at them, is uh, Pam's got one, two, three, four, five, and I've got one, two, three. So I'm a little bit behind still. Uh, we need to catch up on next week. So we're getting towards Christmas, so we'd love to hear uh, what other challenges you might have in store for us. Uh, if you've got an idea, perhaps a Christmas related one uh, or something to do with Christmas decorations, who knows? Uh, why don't you have a think about it? Send it in to us uh, and we'll do our challenge again next week. Hope you're having fun with that. We're having a lot of fun and probably a lot of mess as well. Uh, now we're going to have this week's memory verse. So let's get ready and over to the memory verse. So today the memory verse is from the book of Luke as we head into the New Testament and it's chapter 1, the very first chapter, verse 68. It's quite a long one and it goes, Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. And so the actions for that are firstly, praise be. Praise be. Secondly, to the Lord, the same as always, to the Lord, the God of Israel, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. He has come to his people and redeemed them. So all together, that's praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. And that's all. That's all it is. It's really easy. But you give it a try now, guys. I'd love to see them. So this week's memory verse, as we've just heard, is from the book of Luke. It's in chapter 1 and it's verse 68. Praise the Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. Uh, this is from, uh, this is in the run up to Christmas. So this is Zechariah, uh, who ha has been promised a, a baby who becomes John the Baptist. And after John the Baptist is born, uh, this is Zechariah, his dad, singing a song of praise to God. He's so excited. They never thought they were going to have children and they've got a child and he's so excited about it. And he's giving thanks to God uh, for his baby. Uh, but he's also giving thanks to God uh, because he says um, he has come to, re to his people and redeemed them. So this is uh, what we refer to as a prophetic word. It's looking forward to something else. It's, it's making a, a promise about something to come. And this is talking about Jesus. This is a verse that says that Jesus is going to come and he's going to redeem his people. Now, redeem is a, is a word we read in the Bible. We don't hear it much in uh, other parts of uh, daily life. But to redeem means to sort of to save, to rescue, uh, to sort of buy back from something. So you might redeem a promise. So if someone makes a promise to you, you might go to them and go, I'd like to, I'd like to sort of cash that promise in, please. I'd like to get, uh, get back what you said to me. Uh, so in this verse, it's saying that God is going to redeem his people. He's going to come and claim them back uh, and make them his once again. Uh, and that's because if we remember back to what we were doing before uh, in the story of Moses, uh, the people often went astray. And in between those stories and where we are now in the New Testament, uh, the people had gone astray again. They'd walked away from God. Uh, and so in this promised verse here, this praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel, uh, because he has come to his people and redeemed them. This is looking forward to Jesus coming and redeeming, claiming back the people uh, to himself. And we are one of those people. We are, as Christians, we are uh, the redeemed people. We now belong to God. He's claimed us back and we're now his. Uh, so that's a, it's a really encouraging verse. Uh, it gets us on our way towards the Christmas story. We're going to be doing that in the next few weeks. Uh, it's a longer memory verse than we've been doing for a few weeks. Uh, so uh, let's hope you can have a go at that. And again, uh, do your best to try and memorise it. 
We're going to spend some time now in prayer uh, and worship. Uh, so we're going to look at this verse together. We can pray through, we can make our uh, prayers known to God, and we can just speak them uh, out loud, we can speak them in, in our heads and with our hearts. Uh, and then after that, we're going to have a time of worship so we can get up and, and sing and give thanks for these verses and give thanks for God, give thanks for Jesus uh, and all that he's promised. Uh, so let's do that now. Touching every heart, I worship you. 
did you get? I got 21. <laughs> I got 30. The Guinness. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> right, let's see how many you got. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14! Fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Benny, do you have to wait? What is Advent? Well, Advent's the season which marks the beginning of the Christian year. It starts four Sundays before Christmas and ends on Christmas Eve. What's the word Advent mean? The word Advent means coming or um, arriving. Do you like, are you looking forward to Advent? You want the chocolate, don't you? Yeah, do you know, Advent is when Christians are looking forward to Christmas and they're preparing themselves because it's a time to remember when God sent Jesus down as a human baby. And it's where Christians prepare their heart for Jesus and they remember about God's great love. Oh, go on then, Bernard. So that's the end of another week. I hope you enjoyed it. We loved um, all the challenges that you've been trying at home and we're all always open for some new ideas. Um, and we will see you next week. So it's goodbye from me and Bernard. Bye.